It's our story. Pat Puckett, Atlanta, Georgia. The circumstances were that he had come to the state of Georgia for a conference, and he was a keynote speaker for a conference. And um, the thing that, of course, ju just the most powerful part about Ed, I guess, is simply his presence. I mean, to you, you do a double take when you first meet him because I had never met anybody who used a ventilator before. And um, that it was just such a, uh, his presence is just such a statement. I mean, the fact that he got out of bed every day and went to work and all of that with all the paraphernalia that he had to, to uh, deal with, and it just became really no big deal, you know, for him to do that. And I'd never seen anybody with that much equipment around him, with that much going on, um, who just, who did it anyway, you know, who got up and went to work and did it all anyway. So I think the most powerful thing about him is his presence. But he's also funny. He was very uh, witty about things. You know, he called his um, iron lung his, his womb with the view because it was so warm. You know, one of the things about having polio is that you're, you tend to uh, not tolerate cold very well. So your body is, is cold. And with the slightest drop in temperature, you're uncomfortably cold. So the, the iron lung is warm. And it was very comfortable and comforting for him. And so he called it his womb with a view, which I thought was pretty funny. And then the other thing I remember him talking about, too, is um, being referred to or, or having the world, the medical profession, talk about people as quote unquote vegetables. And uh, I remember Ed saying, hmm, I want to be an artichoke. And I guess it's because he liked artichokes, but anyway, I thought that was kind of humorous that he decided if he was going to be a vegetable, that he was going to decide what kind he was going to be. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.